We have been taught in school and from everyday life, we know that the shortest path between two points in a plane is along the straight line connecting these two points. Some of you might know that the shortest path between two points on a ball is along the great circle containing these two points. These are rare examples where the explicit form of the shortest path between two points of some object is known. It is usually more complicated to find such paths, so mathematicians are for a very long time interested in such problems allowing us to successfully compute distances on Earth or in the space. But what about if we do not ask for distances between two points on some object, but observe objects as points and want to find the shortest path between them, the most efficient sequence of objects of the same type leading from the starting to the final object. For example, kids playing with plasticine are allowed to bend, stretch, shear, strain, all these actions take some energy, and we can say that the most efficient way to go from one shape to another is the one taking the least amount of energy. Of course, one must make rigorous mathematical definitions which tell us which shapes and deformation are allowed. For example, do we allow for more between figures we see on the slide? What about even more abstract set of shapes? The images. In this space, based on just image intensity, aka pixel values of in input and final image, we want to find a sequence of images producing an eye-appealing natural morphing between them. We do not want strong jumps between two consecutive terms, and the natural fluidic deformations are achieved by observing motion and change of image intensities as fluid motion, and minimizing friction energy of this motion. This is the essence of the image metamorphosis model, the central object of my research. This model allows us to make rigorous geometrical study of space of images, and we prove the existence of the shortest path between any two images with natural assumptions for deformations. Furthermore, we are able to produce an eye-appealing morphing sequence between wide range of natural images, example of which you can see on the slide. In this framework, we are able to introduce other geometrical notions. But probably the most interesting question to answer is, how does the image path continue? Do we know how to proceed after reaching the final point, as we know in the simple examples from the beginning? The answer is yes. We are able not only to determine the intermediate images, but also to find the natural continuation of the sequence. These results have, can have a wide range of applications, from the funny social network games, how we're going to look in n years, to applications in study of degenerative diseases by predicting the future state of some organ based on sequence of scans we have at this moment.